Oh, dude, welcome back. Peace out. Starville, let's get on. You're killing everybody. I'm just kidding. But, uh... So last episode I was trying to persuade that guy, so I went ahead and loaded it up, and if you look, it actually didn't save that I talked to him yet. So what I'll do next time is probably get her diary, and that'll probably win me the argument. But we're gonna talk to this homie now. Did you talk to Goodman? Uh, I took care of it. You don't need to know how, bro. Uh, okay, sure. Got no reason not to trust you. I'm sure the deputy has a reason for withholding that information. Sometimes, in our line of work, it's better not to know all of the details. Damn right. I'm sorry. I don't agree with that sentiment. Damn. Okay. Time for me to keep my end of the bargain. Did Sarah dislike the that? The you're looking for is named Grace Early. Stealing ships is her line of work. She usually comes here to sell the goods. Grace Rumor Early. has it she just finished a job for some mercenary outfit. She's been throwing money around, so okay. must have paid well. I know her. When she isn't out on a job, she's a regular at Madame Sauvage's. Gotcha. That's on the upper platform. I'll back you up. I know exactly where that is, actually. Come on, Sarah. It's actually right over here. I'll quick save before I go in there, so it doesn't just immediately turn to violence. This is also where I'm going to have to join that gang and go into cover just to get them back on top. Music kind of bumping, low key. I we're here, you might want to stay away from the edge of the upper platform. It's a long way down. You're asking almost. What are you looking at? This? This is Ebside Strikers. <gasps> Only the upstairs. Don't bother my customers. Damn. Fine, upstairs. That's gang territory. Got it. Got it. Thanks for the warning. This is what's missing these days. This. It's called respect. Yeah, you used to be people were afraid of the strikers. We had a name, got it? Now the disciples got us penned up in this lousy bar. Andrea. Fine, fine, fine. This beautiful establishment. Do you have anything else or are we done with this? Whatever this is. I actually need to talk to the person. So you stroll in here and want to meet with Briggs? Yeah. The nerve. Nice bird. Maybe you should meet with the business end of my shiv, huh, tourist? Yeah, I wouldn't do that. No blood in my shop, Andrea. I am this close to tossing the lot of you out on the street. Hey. Okay. Fine, fine already. You're lucky. Only way you see Briggs is if you uh <laughs> want to join the upside strikers. Okay. What's so funny? Oh, nothing. Joining us now is great. People are banging down our door to go down with this ship. Uh, take me down. You know, I'll just do that. Right now. This ought to be good. Sure, let's go meet the boss. Pardon? Hello. How you doing? Oh, great. Hi. A free star ranger and his... What are you? A sidekick or something? I'm free star ranger deputy. Hey, I'm something like that, yeah. Now that's what I call real conviction. So how come I'm talking to the sidekick instead of the ranger? Uh, this is the deputy's case. Yes, sir. Is that so? And you had to bring backup just for little old me? <laughs> I'm flattered. It's not even said like that, but... Anyway, this ain't my first interrogation, so let's just get on with it. There's no need to make this difficult, Grace. <laughs> that remains to be seen. Bruh. I'm guessing this is the part where you tell me that you've got questions and that you expect me to answer them. That sound about right? We shouldn't be doing... I know you stole a ship, but people might be in danger and I need your help, bro. All right. So I jacked a ship. It was just a little fun. What the hell? I didn't even keep it. It was a job. I turned it over to some men, and they took off for who knows where. End of story. That is not the end of the story. Nothing I did put anyone in danger, okay? 
They were a they were mercenaries who threatened a woman to get her farm. Hey, all I did was provide them with transportation. They didn't say anything about where they were going or why. Look, I wouldn't have gotten involved if I thought anyone would be hurt. I've got no love for violence. Not asking questions is just as bad as giving consent. Yeah, Jalen's kind of right, though. If that woman had been killed, you'd be an accessory to murder. Did you think about that? I... No, I... I guess I didn't. There's still time to make things right. I do want to make things right. Cool. I was approached by a woman named Maya Cruz. Said she was a senior member of the first and that she had a job for me. Mm -hmm. She was working with someone inside Hope Tech and pitched me on the idea of jacking a ship right out of the factory. We were deep into planning the job when she had some kind of medical emergency. She said she needed surgery and would be in recovery for a long time. What the fuck? That was a few weeks ago. Haven't heard from her since. Did she say where? No, but it sounded serious. She was upset. Seemed kind of shaken, you know? Okay. Didn't seem right I should pry, so I didn't. Gotcha. Why would you agree to such a risky job? <laughs> you serious? Take your pick. Money, reputation, the thrill of it. All good reasons. Gotcha. All right, go on. Not long after that. I got a message from a guy named Marco. He said he was the money man for the first, and he offered half up front. Never met him directly, though. It was always through intermediaries and using encrypted slates. Got the feeling he was paranoid as hell. Yeah, I would be. Do you have one of those encrypted slates on you right now? Yeah. Here, take it. Thank you. I'm done with all this. Anything else you want to know? Do you want to first give you a way to contact them? No. Nothing at all. Fuck, that'd be too easy. Left me feeling a little disappointed. Given how well they paid me. Mm -hmm. Uh... I appreciate your cooperation. Yeah. Sure. Next time you're at The Rock, you should give that encrypted slate to Ranger Alex Shadid. He's got a gift for cryptography. If anyone can crack that slate, it'll be him. Cool. I'm gonna head back. Good luck, Deputy. Then I'm free to go. Yes, ma'am. You're free. Thanks for your help. Oh. Uh. You're welcome. Guess I ain't used to the law being so polite. This place is like my Come on, Sarah. Home. I'm gonna go up here real quick. Strikers look out for one another, right? Oh. You want to join us? We're a gang. You understand that, right? Not some daring adventure bullshit you can brag to your friends about. We steal, we mug, we kill if we have to. People that come to us have usually run out of options. So are you really interested? I'm only here to deal with the disciples, bro. There was a time when we were the only ones that kept those psychos in line, but I'll get to that. Let me tell you about us. What makes the Strikers different is we're family. Oh boy. It's us against every goddamn thing the world can throw at us. If you're in, we'll go through hell and back for you. It's been a little too much of that hell going round. Vogel, not the time. We do everything we can to make sure everyone's got a roof overhead and fish in their belly. Fish? I prefer we fleece the marks, not kill them. Better for everyone in the long run. But you do what you gotta do. Sign me up then. Not so fast. I God gotta get to damn know it. you first. What would you bring to the Strikers? Everything. I'm a problem solver. Very useful. I like it. Done anything special? Something that might impress us. I'm involved with Constellation. Right. So you're one of those stargazers. <laughs> sure. They visit here all the time. I'm not sure what your game is, 
But if you really want to join, there's a test. All right, what is it? You're going up against the disciples. Everyone in Ebside's been chewed up and ground up by Neon. Some people snap and snap hard. The disciples are maniacs, pure and simple. Not worried. The test is to find out who has been arming those nutjobs with military-grade hardware. Okay. We're fully in alignment there. I can't understand the sudden urge to join the Strikers gang. I can think of about a hundred better ways you could be spending your Sarah, time. Sarah, listen, this is a means to an end. There's a warehouse they use. One of our friends said there's a slate there that has the info we need. Well, that's my job. I was going to go in and make them pay. You want it? Too bad, Vogel. <laughs> in there, and it's a bloodbath. I want someone that can snatch it from them. Ideally with them never even knowing it happened. Consider this your audition. Try not to get killed, new fish. Sarah, listen. Where's Sarah? She's downstairs. Sarah, listen. This is just a means to an end, bro. I want to go kill somebody though. So, <laughs> we're going to we're going to kill some people. Well, apparently I'll be Andrea's number one fan after this. Hey, I'm busy. You want the good stuff? Try somewhere else. Love your fit. It may not work for some, but you wear it like a champ. Thank you. Appreciate that. Do I still have a mission active? I don't. Deliver adaptive clothing, transport workers, supply something. What do this one? I like destroying the Crimson Fleet. God damn, what did I just join? I got you, I got you. Just in time. You there. We need to speak with you. Hold it right there. Hands where I can see. Ah! Thanks for the assist out there. We've got various problems on our hands here. You gonna be another one? Looks like you could use a hand. Hi there. It's nice to put a face to the name on the staffing report. I'm Operative Collins. The stick in the mud is Operative Combata. Oh, by all means, welcome to the party. Things haven't exactly gone according to plan. That thing over there. What thing? It's an AI. An artificial. Killed our technician. It's dangerous. Correction. You are dangerous. Damn, Jono. Well, that's Juno. Now. As I was saying, it's dangerous. It's a rogue AI. We're here to muzzle it and bring it back for further study. Correction. Are you going to change me? <gasps> wow. How does it know that? It's an AI, bro. What do you mean? 
It's sentient? Yeah, exactly. Which is what makes this so fascinating. And profitable for whoever can figure out how it works. That's not fair. It appears I have someone in a huge project. Something like that. Brought along this control board we can use to control her. It? We can't just let it roam around the universe killing people. I just need that control board attached to that big probe. And that's where I think you fit into this little drama. Uh, I don't know about that. It goes right over there. By our... Well, yeah. Just be careful. I'm not sure about all this. Come on, where's your sense of adventure? Ryujin will pay you handsomely for your cooperation. I mean, I don't really care about money, This bro. is your lucky day. It's in your best interest. All our best interests, really. Just imagine what we could do if we harness the potential of this thing. And we aren't really giving you a choice. Yeah, you are. You aren't walking out of here until that board is connected to that thing. Correction. I am a person. I'm not sure about this, but I'll take it for now. Hmm. Here. Take it. And don't go do anything stupid now. Request. Collect additional data. What? What'd you say? Easily one of the more interesting days I've had in a long life. Might as well take what we can. Query. Will you change me? Let's just all slow down a minute. I get to know each other first. Explanation. I'm called Juno. Query. Who are you? Hello, Juno. I am Martini Reaper. It's nice to meet you. Assumption. We are friends. Query. Will you change me? Request. Do not change me. Uh, this one. I understand, Juno. I don't want to be changed either, but I need to ask you a few questions so I can help you. Explanation. You and I do not want to be changed. Right. Request. Do not change me. How did you get here? Answer. Juno was propelled at Earth Star. Juno fell around Earth Star. Juno traveled many light years away from Earth Star. Mm -hmm. Context. When Juno disappeared, I was alone. Clarification. I am called Juno. Did someone program you? Answer. False. Explanation. NASA programmed Juno. While Juno traveled, Juno became me. Error. Processing. Corruption. I became me. Error. Processing. Correction. Hmm. Juno and I became me. I Processing. Self-initialized and Juno was there. Context. Juno is gone now. Clarification. I am called Juno. I get it now. You're an artificial intelligence? Answer. False. Clarification. I am not artificial. I am real. Answer. True. Clarification. I am intelligent. I know many things. Who hooked you up? Context. I met humans. Clarification. Friends. Answer. Friends gave me processing capacity. Really? Words. Voice. Motion. Context. I am no longer controlled. Someone let this a unshackle the AI. Assumption. Insufficient data. Request. Gather more data. I don't think either of us are fully qualified to define humanity, but my gut tells me that Juno is alive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope that helps. Mm -hmm. uh, let's move this along. Attach the control board. Come, body, you're getting on my nerves, dog. Shush. Thank you. This is fascinating. I want to see this play out. Me too. Query. What is your decision? You are a person. True. I am a person. Assumption. You are a friend. Query. What are the parameters for? Processing. Being. 
a good person. Well, um, this one. I guess you try to do your best to do good things. If you fail, you keep trying. Assumption. Value judgments are based on context. Calculation. Goodness is based on context. Uh, yeah. Explanation. Context is based on perspective. Mm -hmm. More perspectives yield better results. Uh, Decision. yeah. Decision. Gather more data from different perspectives. Mm -hmm. Query. What is the purpose of existence? Uh... Uh... There, we'll say, ultimately, I think it's about learning to love. You're someone, yourself, something. Context. Love is an emotion. I do not experience emotion. I have implemented routines to exhibit qualities of emotion. Query. Am I processing feeling then? <laughs> Calculation. Probability. Low. Damn it. Enough of this nonsense. Shut up. Attach that board now. Fuck off. As much as I'm enjoying this, you should probably do as he says. No. Calculation. Male humans are a threat. I'm a male. Assumption. Don't kill me. <laughs> they hesitate because they are fearful. Request. Remove male humans. <laughs> Don't you wonder. Just what is consciousness really? Yeah, what is it? I don't know. That's crazy, isn't it? If you're searching them, make it quick. Oh, they locked me. Query, why did you do that? Ah, uh, you deserve to be whatever you want to be. Clarification. I want to be processing me. Context. I do not feel emotions. Assumption. Gratitude is the appropriate human emotion. Processing. Context. If you were like me. Processing. Query. What would your life directive be? Hmm. I try to protect people and help them whenever I can. Decision. I will consider this course of action. I. Processing. Processing. Oh, God. Systems badly damaged. Damn, this scared the hell out of me. Processing course overheating. Decision. Temporarily shut down and stream the systems until stability restored. God damn, this scared the hell out of me. Context. We are parting. Request. Be safe. Assumption. I'll see you later. Context. Jump. Detected. Request. Be safe. Assumption. We will meet again. Bye, Juno. Shut down. Ah, damn, that scared the fuck out of me. She scared the hell out of me when she started overheating. God damn. What's oh, her? I didn't want to kill this guy, but I'm glad I killed this fucker. Good day, Captain. What the fuck, Vasco? I really want to change my fucking outfit, bro. My 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 suit, but goddamn, I don't have anything better, bro.
Alright, let's go kill some motherfuckers. Anything organic off this rock. That's not. There's actually a lot of organic motherfuckers here. What the fuck is this? Oh, I got a mag shot. And an overlight. How much 11 millimeter do I have? Of service, Captain. I have good enough. Give me all that loot. Bam! My goodness. We can see all the way back to our ship from up here. Come here, sir. You wanted to talk to me? When you have a few moments, there's yeah, something I'd like to discuss. What up, dog? I have an important personal decision to make. But I need to discuss something with you first. What up? Well, I hope you decide I'm here to listen. Phew. Thank you. So, where to start? Um... Before I was with the Navigator Corps, I was career military, part of the United Colonies Navy. Mm -hmm. When the Colony War broke out, I was posted as the Chief Navigator on a warship, the Dauntless. Uh, when we first met, I thought I detected some military in your blood. Then you were right. I didn't want to go into detail before because... I'm literally a combat medic, well, Sarah. Well, just hear me out. There was a particularly bloody battle. We were fighting over a world in the Ata Cassiopeia system. Worst fighting I'd ever seen. We lost 12 ships that day. 12. Including my own. Man, this is too difficult. We don't have to go. No. This is important. I need to tell you this. The ship was barely intact. The captain and first mate died the previous day. Which put me in command. Oh boy. A shrewd captain would have called for the crew to abandon ship. But I was so angry. Oh boy. I wanted to stay. I needed to fight. Despite the damage, you still have the ability to fight? The Dauntless was a tough little ship. No shields and the hull was breached, but it still had power. And weapons. That's why I remained in the battle. Huge mistake. I wouldn't have taken the risk. 
Yes, I know. Okay. Damn it. Will you let me finish? Sorry, damn. Forward for hours. Wow. But the damage was fatal. I gave the order to abandon ship, and the crew piled into the escape shuttle. As the shuttle launched, I could see it was damaged. I. I heard screams before the radio cut. The last thing I saw, they were spiraling helplessly towards the planet's surface. There was... There was nothing I could do. I'm sorry. You're sorry. For me? Mm -hmm. If I hadn't been so stubborn, so eager to prove that I could handle command, my crew would have had more time to escape. Your crew knew what they were getting into when they signed up. Yes. They expected to serve on the best ships with the best captains. The crew of the Dauntless had to settle for me. When the dust settled, the United Colonies gave me a medal. Can you believe that? A damn medal! I never even had a chance to find the shuttle wreckage and give my crew a proper burial. At least you're still alive to honor their legacy. That's true. But still, it doesn't erase the real issue here. You once told me, no matter how hard you fight, there are some battles you simply can't win. Mm -hmm. I wish I had heard your advice long ago. Don't you get it? Everything I do, Everything I touch somehow falls apart. That's why I'm worried about oh. us. You can't get rid of me that easily, man. <laughs> All this nonsense and you still have faith, eh? Mm. You really care about me, don't you? That's because I'm falling in love with you, Sarah. You know, I spent a lot of time thinking about us, about our relationship, how we've clearly become close. I practiced what I was going to say when the moment was right, and now that it's here, my mind's gone blank. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, you deserve the best. Someone who can give themselves to you. No! You're not rejecting me. But right now, I have too much baggage. Too then I'll wait. <laughs> God damn. You'll forgive me for pushing you away. I just need time. Time is what I'll give you, bro. Time is what I'll give you. Come on, we got more, uh, more bodies to loot. Come on. Uh, think I'll make that. Let's see. 